He didn't exactly travel in style or even in one piece, but at least he made it through customs. This is the first time the Bionic Man has left the, the comfort of England, his original home. The Bionic Man is a robot that showcases just how far technology has come in replicating the human body. Almost everything on the Bionic Man is something that we've taken from existing medical research or existing medical technology. We got an inside look as the Bionic Man was being reassembled limb by prosthetic limb. A bit more. That's it. He can see using an artificial retina, hear using a cochlear implant, and circulate blood through an artificial heart. He doesn't have a spine or muscles, so he's bolted into an exoskeleton for mobility. And for now, at least, he doesn't have a brain. If, if we could replicate the brain quickly and conveniently, there wouldn't be a billion euro project in Europe to try and do that even as we speak. That's still kind of the grand challenge of artificial intelligence still waiting for us. The Bionic Man's visit coincides with the release of a documentary that airs on the Smithsonian Channel on October 20th, detailing the evolution of the Bionic Man project. For psychologist Bertrand Meyer, who has a bionic hand, the Bionic Man looks, well, eerily familiar. The face of the Bionic Man was modeled after a 3D scan of my face. I did freak out a little bit when I saw it for the first time. The Bionic Man is slated to make a few appearances in New York, then head down to Washington for temporary display at the National Air and Space Museum. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.